I really hope that when I go to Hyrule Castle to get the last shrine and get that last cookbook, that there's not some super awesome cutscene that happens because I have all the Divine Beasts active. I'm really hoping that that doesn't happen until you get to Ganon, because I want whatever that cutscene is to happen in the Part 200 special. If it doesn't happen that way, oh well. But I would prefer if it happened that way. Alright, we finished that one. So get rid of this pin. Uh, I need to go and do this quest. Let's go do this. Because I have it open right here. The first fragment is located on the beach behind some palm trees east of Garini. The second one is located in the water in an outcropping west of Garini, just beyond some crates and barrels. And the third fragment is located at the end of the Curly Peninsula next to a palm tree. Should hopefully not be that hard to spot all three, but... Assuming the rest of the shrines, because we only have, not counting this one, we have eight more. Yeah, because this will put us at 112, then there are eight more after that. As long as the next eight don't have some ridiculous shrine quests associated with them, then this is the last difficult one. Or the last one that's difficult to get into. There might be, like, there might be some shrines left that are really difficult once I'm inside of them. Alright. Here's the dude. Fall down here. I think that's it right there. I can see it glowing. How did I miss this the first time I went through here? Man, I am blind. Uh, take a picture of it. Monument shard. There we go. Got that for him. I don't know what just yelled at me, but I don't have time for you. Really? This is what we're doing now? Probably with stall enemies. Dude, I got the first one. Here you go. Did you find any fragments of the stone monument? Here you go. Honestly, I could have brought it to you, but whatever. Mm -hmm. Huh. Some of the fragments must still be missing. Well, keep looking. Mm -hmm. I suppose the waves may have washed away some or pulled them underwater. The letters on the stone glow with an eerie light at night, so you might want to try looking then. All right. The next one is located in the water in an outcropping west of this guy. West would be to the left, so it's got to be in there. Which, actually, there's a shrine here? No, that's the shrine. That's the stamp for this shrine right here. So, west is- yeah, west is to the left, so it's gotta be that up there. Rivali! Let's go! How would an earthquake have sent the stone shard up here? I'll never know. Or it might actually be talking about just to my left on the map right now. We'll check up here first. Thankfully, it is night, and it will be for the next, like, in-game hour or two. Around here, maybe? It should be easy to spot if it is. I doubt the game would make it super difficult to notice it. I don't think it's up here. I think it's at that spot down there, and just the way that this uh, guide is telling me to look west is a little misleading. So let's look over here and hope that I'm right. It's probably actually... Oh, I see it. Yep, it's right there. Sick. I was right to go down here instead. Hello there. Oh, this guide actually does say it's beyond some crates and barrels, so I should have been looking for those in the first place. That is done. Get this back over to this nerd. After this, we'll do... I still need the stall horse picture, and then I need that last quest that I don't have yet, and then it's just the shrine quest. So I guess we'll do one of those. By the time I get this done, it won't be night anymore, so I won't go do the stall horse one, obviously, because the stall horses won't be spawned. Hello. Hey. Did you find any fragments? I did indeed. Where's this third one at? At the end of the Curly Peninsula next to a palm tree. Okay. That's where the last one is. Huh. Some of the fragments must still be missing. Well, keep looking. I wonder if the currents are strong enough to have carried a fragment all the way to the Cape Crescia or Soka Point. Letters on the stone glow, yada yada. All right. To where? Oh, all the way down here. It's so... Wow. That's a bit of a distance. I'll pin that. We'll just do a quick glide that will hopefully get us most of the distance. And then I'll, like, put on the Zora outfit if I need to. To move even faster. Bats, I honestly just don't have time to deal with you and your shenanigans. Yeah, it's going to be all the way over there at that palm tree at the very end, I bet. That would make the most sense. Off we go. This will take me most of the distance. And then I'll Revali's Gale right back so that it'll start recharging while I'm in the uh, in the shrine. Good plan, Chaos. Good plan. It got me like three-fourths of the way. Maybe more like five-eighths. I don't know. You know what? 
probably would be faster overall to just slap on Zora outfit. Go, 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 go. Get me through here, please. Spin attack move you further? I think it might. I'm not sure, honestly. Just really have to hope. Oh, it looks like there's a Korok here, too. Although Koroks are basically worthless to me at this point of the playthrough, but I'll grab one anyways. There we go. Yep, there it is. Sick. As well as the Korok. Because, you know, I'm here. I might as well pick it up. Alright. Take a picture of this thing, and we are done with this shrine quest. I really hope that this is a uh, blessing shrine, since I had to go through so much trouble for it. Here we go. Something was shooting at me, but I don't have the time to care. Get Rivali's Gale to start recharging. Rivali's Gale is like... I know that they're like subjective on when they're useful because like three of them are combat based and then Rivali's Gale is just movement based. But if I had to pick one of these three skills to have, like if I had to play through the entire game with only one of them, like you started the game and it was like, all right, you get one of the four champion abilities, but that's the only one you get for the entire game, I would absolutely take Revali's Gale over all of them. It would be, in order, how I would rank them, in terms of how much I find them useful personally, I would put Revali's Gale number one. I swear if I drown when Link can obviously stand here, I will be upset. Okay, good. Uh, what was I going to say? First, I'm going to put back on my normal outfit. Oh, if I were to rank them, I would put Revali's Gale number one, undoubtedly. Or Bosa's Fury, second. Probably a really close second. Uh, then, honestly, I think I like Mifa's Grace more than Darunai's, because Darunai's just gets wasted all the time. And it takes so long to recharge with how much it gets wasted. I wish there was a better way to toggle it in the middle of combat. So I'd probably put Darunai's Protection last and put Mifa's Grace third. Did you find any fragments? I did indeed. Here you go. All done. That's amazing. All right. Are we good? Oh. Excellent. Thanks to you. I've got a good shot at deciphering the entire monument. Give me a second to see if I can put this all together. All right. What have we got? Uh -huh. Wow. Thanks to you. I've deciphered the entire passage. When the two find their place to kneel in reverence, the shrine shall reveal itself. So what, you and me just have to kneel on these? Mm. I haven't the foggiest what that's supposed to mean. What, do you and me just kneel on this? When the two find their place and kneel in reverence, the shrine will reveal itself. Define kneel in reverence. Like, what does that mean? How do I kneel? Just like this? Is this kneeling? Ah! Oh. Huh? Is that it? I hope so, since it triggered a cutscene. Ah, good. He's gonna kneel on that one. Sick. Well, this was ridiculously easy in hindsight. All we had to do was kneel on it. Alright, this is probably just a blessing shrine, so let's run in here, grab it real quick, and then I think we might go do the last side quest. Nah, let's go grab, like, two more shrines and then do the last side quest, because this is going to be 112, I think? I think this is going to be number 112, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Which means we just have eight more to go after this. Ah, we're so close. But I've only got like 45 minutes left to do eight of these as well as three more side quests. I'll go over like 15 minutes. If I have to go over like an extra half hour, that's too much. It's not worth it at that point. But if I only have to go over like 15 minutes to get it all done, I'll do that. No, it's not a blessing shrine. Why? Ah, quick thanking. Quick thanking. This is another Portal 2 uh, thing. What, do I have to carry these? Oh, I have to, like, I have to take a barrel with me, and I have to really quickly, like, activate the things. Oh, okay. I see. Alright, this is actually pretty simple, then, if this is the... There's another one on the other side I think I have to do, but if that's the extent of it, that's not too bad. Run, run, run as fast as you can. Can't catch me. Gingerbread man, yada yada. Sanic fast, all that good stuff. What's in here? Was this just for bonus? 
Royal Claymore with durability up plus. I think that's worth getting rid of something. What do I have? What do I have? Uh, absolutely get rid of this. Royal Claymores do a ton of damage, even though I'm not a fan of two-handed weapons. All right, so that was just a weapon, so this one must have the, uh, whatchamacallit. I'm gonna have to get back on this, aren't I? Nope, it gave me just enough time. Sick. How? Whoops. I wanted to get it to roll, like, upside down. Or maybe you can just set it down and it'll go under. I thought I had to, like, get it on its side for that, but maybe you don't. No, that should be low enough. Yeah, you just gotta drop it and then, uh, crouch. Okay. I wanted to throw it and have it, like, roll. It Like, the way I'm holding it right now, I wanted it to be like this on the ground. I was hoping that would work. So I'm gonna get past this and then get on the right and set it down and crouch and hope for the best. Make sure I set it down right. No, crouch! Crouch! Just in time. Grab this. I almost messed that up horribly. But it's fine. It did work out. It was it was uh, easier than I expected. I thought it would be more convoluted than that. Alright, so this should have the small key, which will open up the path to the guy, and we'll be out of here. So even though this wasn't a blessing shrine like I had hoped, it was actually pretty quick. This was another cool shrine. I like these. I like the Portal 2 shrines, basically. Portal 2 shrines are uh, the best kind of shrines, IMO. Open sesame... Hello, monk. Give me my 112th spirit orb, please. I have got to get a move on. I have places to be, things to do. Hooray, spirit orb. Thank you. So what I want to do now, I think it's no longer night, so getting a stall horse picture is out of the question. Can't do that right now. But the very next time it's night, I'm going to go do that. I got 80 out of 100 Korok seeds by the end of this playthrough, because I don't think I'm going to get any more than I've already got. But, you know. Considering I never actively, like, tried to seek Koroks, whenever I came by one, I would get it. Uh, I'd say 80 is pretty good. It's the fastest way to get right there. I guess here. Let's just go get... Let's just keep doing shrines for now. Because I can't get the picture of the stall horse yet. I want I want the next side quest I do to be the stall horse picture. So we're just going to do shrines until it's time to go get the stall horse picture. I should be able to get at least like two more before night falls. We've only got eight more to go. I've only got like 40 minutes. So I have to get a shrine like every five minutes. Nah, it's not going to happen. I'm going to have to go over today. And even then I might not get it all done. But a man can dream. Although I am, like, this recording is, like, I have to remove, like, three minutes of this recording from when I had to step away for a second. What the? Oh, there are spikes in the ground. What the heck? I don't have time for you. Revali's Gale is recharging, I've just realized. I hate my life. Is there a different shrine I can go to? That one looks a lot easier. I want to go to a shrine that doesn't require... This one actually should be fine. I can glide most of the way. with uh, From the tower, without having to worry about uh, Revali's Gale. Revali's Gale just makes everything so much easier. It is by far the best of the uh, champion abilities. Druk's Protection has such good potential to be, like, higher tier than I've given it. It should be better than Mipha's Grace, but I feel like it just gets wasted too much. Whereas Mipha's Grace can, like, if you make a small mistake and are about to die or you've run out of food or something, it can save you from losing and having to redo a boss fight or something thanks to it. All right. We are going to... I'm going to make this blue marker. Blue marker. Also going to have to put on the heat-resistant armor, or at least those two pieces. All right. Revali's Gale would still be great here because it actually looks like I have to scale a bit of a mountain. Might actually be faster to fast travel there. Yeah, I think it is, actually, because I want to be on the other side. Let's do that. I think this will save time overall. If nothing else, it's given Rivali's Gale more time to recharge. Wooden objects in dry grass catch fire easily. Be careful around such things while holding a lit torch. Great, great tip there. Alright, now we're here. And I'm going to blue marker still. Which is this way. I do have to do a bit of climbing, but shouldn't be too much. Actually, this should put me up about at the top of the area. Nearly did. 
We can absolutely get some glide on right here and make some distance. Am I going to touch down there or go over? I think I'm going to go over. Just barely. Sick. There's an Igneo Talus right there. I think I fought and killed that Igneo Talus. That might have been like one of the first ones I ran into, but uh, Blood Moon has happened, clearly. All right, yeah, we got to the shrine in no time going this way. Or we're going to. It's like right over here, hopefully. Please start giving me the Shika sensor. Game? Game? Shika sensor? Hello? Is it up top? I need the Shika sensor to start giving me a reading here. What's the deal? Why no Shika? I wanted to look around here and see if there was a place to like go underneath. I'm way far off from where the thing my marker said it was at. Where is this one? Is it it might be up top? Go, Link, go. We must find the shrine quickly. There's my boy Rudania holding down the fort. The fort being uh, the giant volcano of death. It's supposed to be, like, right up here. But the Shika sensor isn't going off at all. Which is weird. Even if the shrine is, like, hidden... Thanks, Rivali. Even if the shrine is hidden, it should still, uh... The Shika sensor still reacts to it, does it not? I thought it did. Did I mess up one of my markers? It's not like over in this lava pit, is it? In the Darb Pond? There's no way I'd be off by that much. Yeah, there's no way, but I do want to see if there's anything cool here. It's just a Korok. Yeah, waste of time. I mean, I'll grab it anyways. Where is this shrine? This is what I was most afraid of, is running into a shrine that I just could not find, even though I had the marker down. I timed that immaculately, and don't ever try and tell me otherwise. Me not being able to find it is one thing, but the Shika sensor, like, never going off is really weird. Like, why is that? I wish I knew the name of the shrine. I don't have my map of the shrines open anymore. If I knew the name of the shrine, I could look it up. Something around here? No? What is with the shrine? Why isn't it triggering? It should be activating my Shika sensor by now. I'm not getting any beeps at all. I don't know what to do. This is bad. I just activated an Igneo Talus somewhere. It sounded like an Igneo Talus was rising up. Let's use the last Rivali's Gale. Get it recharging again, if nothing else. Hello? Shrine? I am at a loss. Put the stamp back down. I, I'm, like, super confused. Uh, let's go get another shrine so I'm not wasting all my time here. I'm gonna see if I can look that one up. Let me look up Elden Shrines, see if that can get me anything. Here we go, Elden Shrines. It was the third shrine or the fifth shrine I was looking for there? I don't know which one, I think the fifth one. Let me look here. Which one of these is the one I'm looking for, according to this map that I'm looking at right now? Uh, what is this one? Dakoko? Is that the fifth one? Yes. 
So I want the third one. Oh, you have to activate a shrine quest to do it. Of course you do. A Brother's Roast shrine quest. You need to speak with Bladen and Goron City. Great. Exactly like the last thing I ever wanted to hear. I think that's the first time I've seen a shrine where there's literally like no indication of its existence without a shrine quest activated. Is this a random Korok in the middle of the field? Can I pick this up? Hello? There we go. No, it was just a random rock. Okay. I'm really upset with that shrine. Not shrine nearby. Here we go. This one should be easy to find, at least. I really wish I could just make Rivali's Gale always available. That would be so great. Thank goodness the game realized how useful it was and makes it recharge all the time. Let's just focus on finding the shrine, which I think is going to be down low, probably. Like, right over this ridge or something. Or it might be up high, even. I don't know. It's better to go up and then fall down than to go down and try and climb up. Especially when it's freaking raining. Ah! Oh. Rain is the most tedious thing in this game, I swear. I think it's beneath me. Pretty certain it's beneath me. This way? It's got to be down low. It has to be. Like around here somewhere? I don't see where it could be. Right there. 